Baya's Quiet Roar by Marilyn Nelson. Paintings by Fomonia Williamson. Lubaya's Quiet Roar. Lubaya always liked to be alone, happily watching the theater of her thoughts. There, she's a ballerina who talks to whales, or an African American artist astronaut. Lubaya hardly ever raises her hand, even when she knows the right answer. She watches the hand-waving picked kids stand in the light of classroom admiration. When captains choose kids to play on their teams, Lubaya gets picked number eight or nine. Her teammates shout, Luby! But she's lost in dreams. She looks at the ground and shrugs when the other team wins. At home, she notices things. The way her dad's jaw sprouts whiskers by evening. How sometimes he winks and her mom's cheeks grow a brown blush. The way her mom's eyes crinkle when she smiles. After homework, dinner, and chores, sometimes she and Jelani play video games. Jelani wins when Lubaya gets bored. Then she goes to her quiet place behind the couch. She draws on the backs of old posters left from protest march a while ago. She draws her friends, Madison and Skylar, dressed in their prettiest birthday party clothes. She draws a snowman on a towel at the beach. She draws Elijah, draws Elijah Jaden, and Jose standing on ladders to paint a rainbow. She draws an Egyptian bird, a hip-hop frog. She sits listening and drawing happily alone. Mom, Dad, Jelani, and the people on TV fill the air with talk. She catches words and writes down snatches of what she overhears. Breaking news. The evening shatters like a dropped glass. Mom cries, oh my God, not again. She and Dad spring to their feet. Dad says a swear. Lubaya comes out of her niche. Mom says, I had hoped the time for marching has passed. As soon as something's organized, we'll march again. Lubaya, can we have those old posters back? That's why the speakers, the spotlighted ones, are carrying posters of Lubaya's drawings. Everyone comments on how great they are, how beautifully they speak truth. Lubaya, roar may not be loud, but a quiet roar can make history. And it says, in Swahili, Lubaya means young lioness. In Jelani, means mighty. And there is what? A picture of the author and illustrator. And it says, you don't need to be loud to make a powerful impression on the world around you. Lubaya's quiet roar.